Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a anything workflow that will create a variable products automatically uh, from Google Sheet to your WooCommerce site. So let's see how it works. First of all, uh, let me show you the products on my website. In the as you can see, it's 188 products uh, on my website. I have already connected the system. So this is the workflow you can see. It will first uh, execute on when you click execute to workflow or you can also customize this according to your needs if you want to run it on a, a form submission or any or you want to connect it on your telegram whatsapp it's totally possible so this is the uh, product uh, sheet you can see there's title product description product th these are product uh, variations okay these are the card this is like a poster product so these are the variations this is the product variation name this is the category name categories these are the under category uh, it means these are subcategories and also you can see the uh, these are the prices of the product and here are the SKUs of each product uh, variation also you can add a more if you want uh, currently i have set up this on the workflow and when one product is done created on your commerce site it will uh, automatically place uh, or write published here for one product as you can see this is only one product and these are the variations so let's run it and test the workflow right now i have like uh 10 to 11 products let's run it and then we will troubleshoot or we'll see uh, inside each of the nodes uh, how it is set up so let's run it i'm clicking execute a workflow and it will start running now as you can see it's reading product and cleaning data then grouping products and then a set a condition it passed through the conditions and it's it created the first product and it's already updated the first one as you can see okay the second one is also done as you can see these are the first products so it only uh changed the status on the first row and the third one is also done let's see if it's getting uh created on our website too let me refresh it you can see 188 let it load okay four products done as you can see okay you can see all the products are getting created okay one two three four one two three four and more are getting on okay six products are done Let's see how many products uh, they are on the tables right now. You can see in these are 60 items. It cleaned the data and it uh, sorted uh, or grouped all the uh, titles to one product. There's th and those are same uh, product title. You can see total 12 products. So 9 done. Let it run and finish all of them. Okay, 11 done. Okay, almost done. Now it's processing the last one. And then see, it should go to the success message. I have set an error note to give you the success message right now. Okay, done. As you can see, it should complete it. And all the products are done. And also here uh, 192. Let's refresh it again. And you can see it turned to 200 products. So total event products are created. We can also assign images here too later on. If if uh, anyone wants, we can also integrate integrate the images too. 
so right now uh according to my client needs i made it for my clients so uh they they don't need the images to assign here or they don't have the images ready for now so uh, he wanted to set up the workflow without the images so these are the uh, images as you can see the prices are also set up let me show you uh let me edit on product and show you how it's set up on the back end okay let me go to attributes sorry okay you can see the store luck is the attribute here you can see store luck sorry uh, yeah the title here yeah. also these are the values for the attribute and these are the values we can match all then go to variations and it have already created five variations for each size you can see the price and the SKUs is retained from this sheet too. So it's totally automated system. You don't need to edit or add manually anything. You can see the product description is also pasted from the Google sheet. And everything is set up correctly. And we can see the categories. There is the main category and this this is the subcategory. It's also assigned. If we see the product from the uh, front end, you can see it's totally sorry. This is an error from the website. Ignore that, and you can see the product is added correctly. And you can also order it from here. It's totally ready. So let's see what's back. Uh, what's on the back end of the nodes? You can see for first of all, it will read the products, then clean the data using a JavaScript code. Then it will pass to the group products, and it will group all the products to. Uh, here you can see these are like uh, six row or five rows with same products. So it will make the uh, same. It, it it will make the uh, five products in one group so it doesn't duplicate any product okay then you can see it will process at one time it will uh, send one group product each time and then it will fetch all the categories from the site if any category is missing from the sheet or, or it's not matching this uh, it's not matching on your website then it will automatically create that okay may i say the merge node it's to merge the informations together and then i have set up an if node if it's not containing the category you can see this is the category from the google sheet then it will go or it will create the category and if it's already there then it will go to the false and uh, assign it it will assign okay as you can see it's also uh, checking if the product exists on the side or on the node or not sorry on the google sheet or not then it will match the category id from the website and then create the variable product here then it will pass the uh, to the press variations JSON, it will uh, create the variations, split the variations, then it will create uh, create the variations for the product and assign with the product. As you can see, it's the same product that we created in this node, and we are assigning the variations inside this HTTPS node. And then it will update the product if it's uh, published. When it's published on the website, it will. Uh, you can see the status is published, and you can see here this is the published one. And it will wait two seconds and loop the items one by one. And after doing all the products, it will uh, go to the done, and it will show you the success message. So this is the workflow. And also, I have uh, added the error handling here too. Uh, if 
all these products are created already it will skip all the products and if any products uh, is not created or the status is not published then it will create that product only so let me show how it uh, works so right now it's it created the 11 products or 12 products right now sorry 12 products so let me execute it once again so it shouldn't uh, take any products from here it should skip all the products you can see it's uh, fetching the categories okay it's already looking as you can see 12 is done 13 done uh, all the products are skipped as the status is published as you can see no nodes uh, here in the if node it's already existing check the product exists the product is existing and yeah the category yeah So the products are already exist on our website so it it skipped all the products and you can see after that it showed that a success message so that's it for today if you need this system or if you need any kind of system like this on any 10 or for your any custom website or shopify uh feel free to contact me or if you need anything any help with it you can comment below and also i'll leave the contact details in the description you can also reach out to me using those details too so thank you